This time on Low Boost, I'm gonna teach you how to make a cheap, do-it-yourself Boost Leak tester. So this is my BMW E36 Turbo LS swap. It's got an L246 liter and a Borg Warner 72 millimeter turbo on it. I absolutely love this car. I have a full build series on it. If you guys are new to the channel and you want to figure out how to do something like this yourself, I have like 40 videos on this thing. I've done a video, everything down from how to do the seats. It's a stick shift. I did the whole rear end on it. So if you guys want to learn how to do that kind of stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So I'm trying to chase a couple different things on the car. I had this weird like whistling sound that's coming out of it while I'm like only under full throttle. So like even if I'm cruising at 80 miles an hour, doesn't make the sound, but as soon as I get into boost, you hear this sound. And I'm trying to figure out exactly what that sound is. <clears throat> so one of the things I want to troubleshoot is uh, we have to do a boost leak test. And uh, this has to be a pressurized boost leak test because it only happens under boost. So I'm going to show you what I made. And if you have to do the same thing, you could do it yourself as well. So I went to Home Depot and I bought a four inch uh, to three inch um, rubber coupling that you would get on <clears throat> like for piping and then a three inch cap with a screw. And then at the top, I drilled a hole to put some NPT threading in here and I glued it on on the inside as well. Hopefully that sticks. And then I have a, a meter so I can measure my PSI that's going in. And then I'm just gonna hook this up to an air compressor. So I'm gonna stick this on the inlet of the turbo. This only cost me like 20 something bucks. You probably don't even need this, <clears throat> but I got it just good peace of mind to have a shut off. So that way I can kind of hold the boost where I want and measure it and kind of take it from there. This should pressurize it enough for me to kind of figure out where my boost leak is coming from. So let's take off my turbo guard. So first I'll take off my turbo guard. Okay, next, I'm gonna try to slide this over it. That's on there. Let's see how it holds air. So with that on, it's not on all the way, but as soon as I put it on, I can already hear something over here. It's actually coming from the blow-off valve, so I'm just going to make sure I have it on correctly. I can hear the boost leak coming from my... It's coming from my blow-off valve. So ultimately what ended up happening was my new Turbo Smart blow-off valve the O-ring wasn't seated properly, so I had to take it off and kind of finagle it back on in the proper way and put the V-band clamp back on, and that fixed this boost leak. But there were quite a few more boost leaks to go after after this one was fixed. You know, just to try to get it to hold some PSI before it pops, you know, the, the way to check it is you get a bottle of uh, soapy water, spray it here. If you see bubbles come out, then you know you have a boost leak. Let's see a spray. Look for bubbles. No bubble. Well, one of my boost controller lines is leaking. We're gonna have to tighten that up. And another. There's two leaks. See what we can get. I only need to replicate like 10, 15 pounds. It's coming out of here. Yeah, so it turns out if you want to really run 20 PSI on this thing, uh, you really got to tighten that thing down. So we tightened it down.
This episode is brought to you by Buyer Driveline. They're the BMW driveline specialists. Whether you have a factory BMW that you need a new drive shaft made for, or you want that one upgraded, or you have a BMW you're going to be doing a swap in and you need a custom drive shaft made, make sure you guys check them out. They can make just about any drive shaft for any BMW application, you name it. They're designed to handle power, not just factory BMWs. They'll also do a custom drive shaft for any swap you're gonna put into them, whether it's another BMW engine into a BMW, to JZ engine, or my favorite, LS swaps. They can make a custom drive shaft for literally anything BMW. If you use the link in the description below, you'll get 10% off any drive shaft you get from them. So make sure you guys check them out for all of your driveline needs. You gotta be careful because it will shoot out. That's 10 pounds there. Now I can check the leaks, see it's going down. Okay, so after getting it up to almost 20 PSI, the only places that I noticed had a boost leak, I ended up spraying this whole thing down. Um, it has heat wrap on it, but I'm getting a little bit of bubbles coming like right out of here, um, which means uh, on the weld, the bend here, there is a slight boost leak on that. And then I'm getting some more, I, I hear it down here. Um, I don't know if it's underneath the intake or anywhere else. I sprayed all the hoses and vacuum lines with soapy water and still didn't get at, uh, any bubbles. But I do have a boost leak coming from this area here somewhere. So I'm going to have to figure out off camera exactly what that is. Um, but I've fixed most of the boost leaks that I've had in this car. So no matter what car you have, making something like this, which is really cheap, you could get most of the stuff at Home Depot is definitely gonna work for you if you have a little small air compressor. I use the pancake air compressor like that. If you had, it probably would have been a little easier with a bigger air compressor, that way it wouldn't have to run all the time to really kind of get it to where it needs to be, but that's just what I have lying around the house here. So let me know if you guys have any other questions. I'll put links to some of this stuff in the description below uh, to be able to make your own, or you could just go to Home Depot and, and make it yourself. But uh, this will work testing any, uh, any boost system that you have, you just gotta make sure you have the right inlet uh, coupling for this. So double check the size of your turbo first. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.